Ayan, good morning everyone. Very beautiful day sa inyo lahat. Ayan, ito pa rin yung walang ligo yung lingkod. <laughs> Ang lamig-lamig dito sa Cebu, dalang araw na umuulan. So, hilamos lang tsaka toothbrush. Ayos na, pwede na mag-show, di ba? So, good morning everyone. Good morning to the Daily Grinders. Ayan, so yes, thank you so much sa mga greetings. It's my birthday today. And as usual, ito po yung... Regalo ko sa inyo. Uh, today we're gonna. It's gonna be a very very special episode. We're gonna be talking about the basics of scalping. Yeah, basic scalping. Anong dapat nyo consider in uh, in scalping? Uh, what are the what? How do I do it? Right. Um. Basically, eto yun, This is working for me. There are so many scalping strategies out there. I'm not saying this is the best one, but somehow it's working. Right. You just incorporate these basics that I'm gonna be teaching you on other scalping videos you might find online. At least, uh, ma-apply nyo po. Once you're already good uh, at trading, pwede na po kayo mag-start ng scalping. It's it's a very useful, uh, it's a very profitable, um, what you call this, trading strategy. So, yan. Yan yung pag-uusapan natin. Yan. If you're just watching the replay of the video, please move forward to around 25 minutes po. Because uh, that's when we will be starting our discussion. Ang uunahin po natin ngayon is yung mga um, comments and questions sa mga tao. Right? Um, I have, uh, what you call this, I have recommendations for today. Congratulations po sa mga pumasok sa mga recommendations ko the past few days. Ang dami na po nananalo. Um, tell, right? Um, we, people were afraid about, um, tell, uh, what you call this, um, PLDT, di ba? Tell, nirecommend ko yan noon. Uh, it's already been going up now. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Tel Ma. MAH kahapon, the biggest winner. I recommended that around two days ago. I can't remember when I recommended it. But yeah, I specifically mentioned about Ma um, early this week. Um, yun, nanalo kahapon na napakalaki si Ma. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Ma. Web is already going up. Sec B. AP, at last, gumalaw rin si AP, right? We've been talking about that URC and especially VLL. Si VLL, ilang araw ko na yan sinasabi sa inyo. Ayan, gumalaw na si VLL. Si MPI, kahapon, recommended MPI. And yun, gumalaw na. Hopefully, nakapasok kayo two days ago? Or is that two days ago ko ni-recommend si MPI? But I can't remember. But uh, the the picks are already winning now. Right, so congratulations sa mga pumasok. Yun na yung pa-birthday ko sa inyo. Right, um... Yan, um first up, I want to thank you everyone for um supporting the daily grind. I I still can remember last year nag ano um yung birthday video ko na linabas sa page ko was um a birthday gift ko sa lahat is I'm gonna be ma- making basic a basic uh stock market seminar. Yun po yung pinaka ano ko na video talaga sa YouTube. And so we started from there and then we grew up after a year. Napakarami po bless, blessings. Thank you po so much sa inyo. Um, good morning to everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. Ayan. So, nag-greet siya kanina sa akin. Napaka, uh, napaka-aga. Right? Anyways, let's go to your comments. Thank you so much again. Alright. Daran Boa, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Thank you. I wish you good health. Always, I wish that the people who gain from your recoms will share a portion of their earnings this year. Apil na ko dyan. Cheers, Sir Lloyd. You can always um, share your blessings to the channel. Right, to support the channel para masustain po natin to every day. If you want to, kindly click on the, um, what do you call this? Um, tawag dito, super chat. Andyan po sa chat room natin, may, may dollar sign dyan sa katabi ng smiley. If you want to donate to the channel, it will be a very big help to make, uh, to help continue this program every day, right? Um, Daran Boa, Sir Lloyd, pwede pa humabol PCOR today. Um, PCOR, I'm recommending PCOR today. Let me post my recommendations for today on the chat. Um, Holsim, Picor, SMC, MY, EEI, ATN, and Vita on breakout. Yan po yung mga recommendations ko. Today, we're going to be talking about the, uh, what do you call this, um, technical analysis of these uh, recommendations that I have for today. Mamaya. All right. Um, Ella Montefalco, good mo- happy birthday. Thank you so much. Um, Joe Ligares, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Brainstorm TV Gaming, happy birthday, Sir. Thank you. Mabel, thank you. Tyrone, Javier, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po, si Sir, si Tugo, ISM and FNI, more power. Let's talk about these, yung mga requests ninyo. Hopefully, may oras pa tayo today kasi usually sobrang daldal na natin. Hindi na maabot yung oras. But hopefully, hopefully, abot pa tayo. So, I'm gonna write these down. Rodrigo Carlos, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Arjol Mendoza, happy birthday. Good morning. Thank you. Joel Caras, happy birthday. 
sir. And to my son, Josh Darwish. Uy, sabay pala kami ng birthday ng anak mo, Joel. Right? Good morning. Happy birthday sa kanya. Um, Antoinette Pantilo. Um, happy birthday. Thank you, Addison. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Thank you, Bull and Bear. Happy birthday to someone who is forever young. <laughs> right? Thank you so much, right? Flor de Lisa Santos, happy birthday. Na, na speechless ako dun sa forever young na yun. Na forever young pala ako. Right? Thank you so much, Flor de Lisa Santos. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. More birthdays to come. God bless you too. Haps, manigayang kaarawan, Sir Lloyd. May God bless you more. Thank you for helping us achieve financial literacy, not just in stock market, but in our everyday lives. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm really happy to help. Burnstorm TV Gaming. Goodbye pa rin po ba si MBT? Yeah, I recommended MBT kahapon and... Nag-bounce MBT, di ba? So, that was a secondary confirmation. So, for me, it's still okay. Let's check out the chart or it mamaya. Um, I recommended Metrobank yesterday, right? Um, Claire Manzano, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. More blessings to come po. God bless. Thank you so, uh, thank you po sa walang sawang pag-share ng knowledge nyo. I'm happy to help. Uh, Rodrigo Carlos, thank you. Really is scary as Kerda. Thank you then. Roger Aguilar, happy birthday, Coach. BDO. GT Cap and Sec B. And si Sec B, umaakit ni, right? Uh, recommended that a few, siguro weeks back, no nagsusupport pa siya. Right? Because we're already seeing good signs for Sec B. So, yun, um Ngayon, gumagalaw na siya. Right? Um, share, Shen, Shin Lee Paz Sira. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. More blessings to come. God bless you always. God bless you too. Thank you so much. Sherry Ann. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Thanks for the share, for sharing your knowledge and skills in stocks. Trading more power. Dong J. Happy birthday. Pasuyo po APX. Right? APX, TBGI, and Vulcan. Let's check these out. Si Vulcan, so gumagawa na ng support. Still, I'm shaky with the position. So, let's see. Let's see. Alright, tingnan natin. Darwin no Nodo. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy birthday insights po kay Vulcan from Eda. Ayan. Uh, let's check, check down Vulcan. Right, sinulat na natin yan. Claire Manzano, benta na ba SMPH and FPH niya? <laughs> um, good, congratulations SMPH. Recom, uh, rec- remember recommending SMPH. And nag-breakout sa si SMPH, so I don't recommend selling it yet. So I think magtuloy-tuloy pa yan. It's a bullish market. Um, if you see a red bar na kay SMPH, yes, you can sell half already. Pero as of the moment, wala pa ng red bar si SMPH. Eh. So, um, still okay. Ayan. Nga pala guys, a little request from my end. Ayan, taka lang ha. little request from my end. Paki po share on video. Please share the video to your Facebook walls. Yan na yung birthday gift niyo po sa akin. Please share the video on your uh, Facebook walls and then your trading groups. Kung may mga trading groups kayo iba dyan, uh, please uh, share the video there. Uh, this is for para sa mga newbies na andoon. Malaman nila na may program na ganito na nakakatulong sa kanila sa trading nila. So, please, I hope I've earned that request. Um, brilliant Encore, happy birthday. Um, thank you so much. Uh, good morning, like and like and all daily grinders. ISM and X, please. Alright, so ISM and X. Pula kapon si ISM, eh, di ba? Uh, let's check the ISM out. Alright, so gumagawa na naman ng triangle si ISM. And Dina, Angela. Um, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Um, God bless you po. Good morning to you and Laika. The original. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. May all the blessings fall onto you. Thank you so much. Birthday picks. Swerte siguro yan. <laughs> it's from Wang. All right. Good morning, Wang. Ayan. Um, yun yung picks ko ngayon. Ang iba kasi, hirap na maghanap ng picks ngayon kasi lumilipan na iba. You, you can momentum try, uh, ride if you want to. But as much as possible, I'm a position trader. So, yung mga nirereko ko are for position picks. Right, um, Joseph Villaflor, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and happy, happy birthday. Insights po kay Bicor, um, CHP, and MBI, and Vita. Ayan, ayan. so let's check these out. Si Bicor, mustayin na natin si Bicor kung pwede naman pasukin. I'm still shaky of the support of Bicor, masyadong magalaw pe. So, let's see, let's see. Um, B, have it, good morning, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. May the green port be with us always. Thank you so much. Uh, hops, chart request po, Sir, Picor and SEC. Si Picor. Is the is on my recommendations again today. Let's check out SCC. SCC. And right, Mike sixteen. Good morning, uh, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Happy birthday. Wish you all the best and many more blessings to uh, to you. More power, financial freedom. One o one. Uh, thank you so much for the teachings about stocks. I'm really happy to help. Thank you so much, Christine Re- Regnim. Um, happy birthday, sir. Magpull back kaya si index ngayon hanggang saan kaya aabot. Thank you. Yes, um, nagtuloy-tuloy yung breakout ni uh, ano eh, ni, ni PSEIS. So um, 
I'm not really sure if it's gonna do a pullback. It's a Friday, so most probably will. Sayang, birthday ko ngayon. Sana mag-green ang PSCI dahil birthday ko. <laughs> but <laughs> reality check, Friday ngayon. And whenever the market uh, rallies and mag-take profits yung mga tao, um, we, though we are at net foreign buying already, sunod-sunod na tayo na net foreign buying. So that's very good. Hindi natin may iwasan na. Man, um, the reality is manipis pa rin yung volume ng market. So we're at 6 billion pa rin. So it's not that thick yet. So, yeah, um, take profit is still always possible. So, if you see any red, any weakness on the momentum of your stocks na mga pinapasukan, congratulations, nag-green na yung port ninyo. Um, look to take profits. Mag-sell half po kayo if may, may makita kayong pula, right? It's not bad to take profit. So, always, always do that whenever you can, right? Especially sa mga short-term trades ninyo, hindi naman kayo maglo-long term. So, you can always take profits if you want to. Raymond Arano, uh, Sir Lloyd, good morning. STRX, and especially na um, alam ko andito lahat is gusto maging trader. So, for short-term uh, talaga ang mga positions ninyo. So, look to take profits talaga. So, this is from Raymond, STRX, FEN, Bcor, IRC, ISM. Let's write these down. Right. Um, di ko na i-filter yung mga na-doble na kasi sa yung oras. Pakibati naman po wife ko si April Arano. Good morning sa inyo, Jan, uh, Raymond and April. Uh, Jomar Lim, good morning Sir Lloyd. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Ay, bumaba yung comments. One moment please. Nawala, nawala, nawala. Ayun. Um, Jomar Lim, uh, Roland Hamela, uh, good morning. Happy birthday. Ma, Aba, or po. Ayan, si Ma at si Aba. Ilang araw na natin na-recommend yan. So, Congratulations sa mga holders. I don't think it's nice to get in them anymore. Si Or, na natin. Happy birthday, sir. God bless you. From Bert Olan. Thank you. Tyron Javier. Regarding sa topic natin today, sir, ilang percentage usually TP ng scalping? Yes, that's part of my presentation for today. Yan, pag-usapan natin yan. Tristan Percadas. Good morning, sir Lloyd. Happy birthday po. Sir, sell na po ba kay PIP? PIP. O nga pala, no? Lumilipad na si PIP, di ba? Uh, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay PIP. Let's check out PIP. Kamustahin natin si Pip. Isa yan sa mga ni-recommend ko early this week. Eh. Alright. Bernadette Abiog, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. More power to you and God bless. Good morning to my daughter, Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Bernadette. And Jasmine, Asmira Bilbao. Bilbao. Yeah, right. Sir, good morning. Uh, Vita po. Let's check out Vita. Um, Vita is on my recommendations, actually. So, madadaan na natin yan. Peri Ambat, good morning. Excuse me muna. Ang dal-dal ko. Sakit tuloy na lalamunan ko. FRM JCB, get happy happy birthday. God bless you. Thank you so much. Mary Jane, Sir Lloyd, insights nyo po. Mary June pala. Sir Lloyd, insights nyo po sa MBT, AP, and RLC at Seb. Thanks. Happy birthday po. Right, uh, let's check these out. Actually, nirecommend ko kapag sa MBT. We're betting on the MA20 bound. So, hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy. Chuk Mung Sin not coach Lloyd. Greetings from Vietnam. Oh, that should, uh, Jerome, good morning. May, most probably that means happy birthday or napakapogi mo, coach Lloyd. <laughs> Greetings from Vietnam. <laughs> Pwede namang ganun. Hindi ko alam eh. So, most probably that's happy birthday from Jerome. Noel Almario, happy birthday po. Um, Dave Gopuda, this morning, Sir Lloyd, like uh, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. Josephine Marcelo, good morning. IDC, Bull and Tugo. Yan si Tugo, dahan-dahan, lumilipad. Yan, kahapon, nag-celebrate kami kay Tugo. Noong nag-celebrate kami, sabi ko, congratulations sa Tugo. Biglang bumagsak. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Pag, if it's, if when people are celebrating, usually that's a sell signal. So, huwag po kayong maghahabol, <laughs> maghahabol dyan. So, na, na-jinx ko tuloy yung tubo ni Tugo yesterday. But so far, so good. Ang ganda naman ng climb na ni Tugo eh. Kasel, John Visaya, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Thank you so much, Ralph. JBR na retract, um, message retracted po. Benja, we mean, Lauren, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. More power to you. Thank you so much. Joy, Joy, uh, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Grabe, walang pahinga kahit birthday tuloy ang daily grind. I'm one of your students last December 29. Okay po ba si Picor? Yes, maganda pa rin si Picor. Thanks and God bless po. Today, I'm recommending Picor because nag, nag-confirm na naman ng support. So, posisyonan nyo pa habang maaga pa. Right. Thank you so much, Joy Joy. Engineer MMI, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy birthday, more power. Thank you. Haba, Hafa Aday, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Macau. Hindi ako nakabenta ng ma. Okay lang, ibenta mo today. 18% na yan. You can look to sell half if bumaba yan, right? Weng Berbasalde, okay pa, uh, pa da- pa ba dagdag kay MPI? Sir, yes, I think so. Okay pa rin naman. But as much as possible, wait for the retracement of uh, MPI. Pag mag-retracement yan and you buy more, uh, you move your um, your cut loss to the next 
support, right? Mm. Our Leo, happy birthday, Sensei. Thank you so much. Flory Ann Estrella, good morning, Sir Lloyd, SGI, please. Um, Weng, sa question mo kanina about MPI, okay ba ba magdagdag? Antayin niyo po yung next retracement before you wanna buy more. Kasi paakyat pa siya, right? Huwag kayong magbabuy more habang paakyat pa siya. Let it pull back and if it shows you a higher low, then that will be your next entry point, right? Nerf. Uh, Nerfe eh, Kano, right? Good. Happy happy birthday, Master. Thank you so much. Israel Cleopas, happy birthday, Boss Lloyd. God bless and continue inspiring us. Uh, thank you. Hafa Adai, happy, happy birthday. Joseph Cortez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pabati si, si and, si and Co. Mommy Boys ng Bulacan. Ito, lagi ko nababasa itong mga Mommy Boys. Eh. Good morning sa inyo, Jan. Uh, Mary June, Meg po, Sir Lloyd. Sell profits na ba? Thanks. Yung nga pala, I recommended Meg a few days back. Tignan natin si Meg kung pwede na ba mag-take profits. But usually, kasi sinasabi ko, pag na-hit na yung risk-to-reward ratio nyo, usually ang recommended kong risk-to-reward ratio is 1 is to 2. If you're risking 5%, so most probably, you should earn 10%. Pag na-hit na yung 10% nyo, you can consider already selling the stock. Pero, um, consider lang. Huwag nyo muna ibenta ka agad. Just wait for the weakness. Pag pag lumiit siya ng konti, if you see the momentum is slowing down, then you can sell half by then. Right? So, yun. Um, that's when you should be taking profits. Right? Gerardo Raimundo Buenas, happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, Bert Lobertas, thank you then. Ralph JBR, thank you. Thanks for being a blessing to us newbies. More power to you, sir. God bless. Thank you. Becca Tangan, happy birthday, sir Lloyd. God bless po. And thank you so much. Miss Pavilion Moore, thank you. God bless you more. Ali, please, let's check out Ali. Kumusahin natin yung mga blue chips. Yan. Kaganda na ng gala ng mga blue chips. Eh. Marie, Christine, pass. Good morning po. Your insights on PIP, please. Please. Alright, let's check it out. MRSGI din po from Mizpa. Um, MRSGI. Ang taas na ni MRSGI. I recommended uh, MRSGI noon pa um, when it made the support. So, tumataas na ngayon. So, medyo mataas na. Remar Mariano, happy birthday and good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Thank you so much. Jojo Slow, yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. Chris Leones, um, happy Sir Lloyd, <laughs> happy birthday, Sir and God bless you more. Thank you so much. Rainer Edward Juliesa, Juliesa, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. God bless you. Salamat sa knowledge mo. Hey, ilan taon ka na coach? I am 33 years old today. All right, 33 na. All right. Um, one of these days, titigil lang ako sa pagbibilang ng birthday ko. Bilis ng panahon. I can still remember my 21st birthday. Right. Engineer MMI, Primex, sir. Alright, let's check out Primex. Um, I did recommend Primex the past few days kasi sa support niya, hindi ko nakamusta ngayon if nag-hold ba yung support niya. Alright, Primex. And happy natal day, Sir Lloyd, from Michael Angelo. Um, God bless and more power to your advocacy. Thank you so much. Irene Carino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy birthday po. Thanks po at marami po ako natutunan sa inyo. Thank you then. Uh, Agent Disaster, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Bobby Dongalio, morning. good morning. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Greetings from Singapore. Ayan, good morning sa inyo dyan. Fin, um, Noel Taranco, good morning, Coach. Pakisuyo po ng Ani. And si Ani, nagsushow na ng good na support. Eh. So, let's check out Ani ngayon. Um, Rodi Long, Picor, and Tel, please. Alright, Picor is in my recommendation. Si Tel, lumipad na. So, I will want you to wait for Tel to go back down before you wanna get in. Ambrosio de Fort Fontorum, happy birthday, Coach. Okay po bang pasukin? Ang Tugo, actually, okay siya. I'm doing, I'm, I'm recommending Tugo. I have been recommending Tugo lately. And... Tingnan natin yung chart. As of the moment, I don't want to recommend it kasi medyo malayo siya sa MA20. Agent Disaster, ako po, ako pag birthday, nakalive kay Sir, tuloy-tuloy ang, ang advocacy ko do, Sir. Yes, thank you so much. Actually, uh, this makes me happy. The program makes me happy. So, I'm doing it kahit birthday ko. <laughs> Natutuwa ako pag ganito. Eh, right? um, it, really, it really is um, fulfilling. Ang dami ko pong message na natatanggap every day. Whenever people say na, Sir Lord, ito na po yung port ko. Kahit hindi ko po students, kahit nanonood lang sa mga da sa daily grind, nagsasend sa akin ng messages na my port is improving now. That's very fulfilling for me. So, um, makes me happy to do this. So, yan, tuloy pa rin tayo kahit birthday natin. Katrina Urbano, happy birthday, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, Jomar Lim, ano po ba sa tingin nyo uh, nangyari kay Ali? Tataas na po ba? 
tumaas naman si Ali, eh. right? Let's check out Ali in a while. Right? Tingnan natin si Ali. Tumaas naman si Ali, eh. baka nag pullback. Hindi ko napansin si Ali yesterday. I wasn't really wa- watching the market yesterday that much. Chris K, happy birthday, sir. Lord. All the best, more blessings to come. It's eight. It's eight thirty-eight, so around two to three minutes more. Let's check the market in a while. Right? Um. From Renante Hatu Hutalia. Good morning. Thank you so much for the greetings. Who won? Tamad. Good morning, sir. Lord. Happiest birthday. TGIF, sir. STR po. Thank God it's, thank God it's Friday. Kamusta natin si STR? Hopefully, maabutan natin to. Right. Who won? Tamad. Happiest birthday to you, sir. Thank you so much. Amelda Gomez. Thank you for the greetings. Who won? Tamad. Comment on Primex, please. Primex still okay. Um, uh, tingnan natin yan. Nasulat naman natin yan. Ratchet, happy birthday. Thank you so much. John Angel Ekano. Uh, Norbert Balatbat. Thank you so much. Thank any comments on Holsim and PXP. Please, si Holsim recommended ko yan today. Si PXP, tingnan natin yung chart ni PXP. Right. Nagpo-pullback na si, magpo-pullback yan si P- PHP. So, Trabahador, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Thank you so much. Vinjay, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. More power, thanks. Thank you. STV Trader, um, good morning. ISM and IRC, and um, nasulat na natin yan. ATN is in my recommendations for today. So, you can check out ATN today to position on ATM, Romy Cabalar. Good morning. Thank you so much for the greetings, STV Trader. Um, Ramzo Peralta. All right. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Happy birthday. And Ariel Clemente. Ceiling today ang ISM kasi birthday ni Sir Lloyd. Happy birthday, Coach. Toronto, Canada. Oy, nangahype ka ha, Ariel. Right. So, thank you so much, Ariel. And Gad GJC. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. May all your dreams, profits come through this 2019. Thank you so much, RG Abracosa. Morning, Sir Lord. SSI, please. Ayan, recommended SSI yesterday. Kamusta natin si SSI? Hindi ko nakakamusta, nakakamusta yung picks ko eh. But uh, we recommended SSI because of the support. It's forming. John Philip Erkiza. Happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Oman. And Sherwin, uh, thank you. Natalie D, thank you then. Prospect um, Henuino. Right, happy birthday. Good ha- God health. Thank you so much. Best of birthday to you from Adelaida Balag. Thank you so much. Good morning. Alvin De La Cruz, paboso ng PXP, right? Let's check out PXP na well. Albert Pangiligan, good morning, Master Lord. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. And GN007, thank you. Lady Catherine, happiest birthday. Thank you so much for always blessing uh, all of us. May God bless you more. Sir Pasilip na mangyari sa FPH and FGen. Alright, thank you. Alright, so let's stop first with first name. Shells DB, happy birthday. Thank you so much. And, and last lang, si Alvin Almanza, right? Uh, happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po ng DD, Tel, and Picor. Si Picor, I'm recommending that. Si DD, kamustahin natin. I've been recommending DD ilang araw na noon before the climb. So, good job sa mga pumasok. Um, let's check out Picor, Tel. Yan, nasulat natin yan. And FGen, FPH. FPH, ang taas na eh. Right? Um, pero let's check out FPH. Ang ganda ng buy signal noon. Eh. Right, so now, yan. Let's start the discussion. Before we do that, we want to thank our sponsors, to Trade Asia. Check out 2TradeAsia, 2TradeAsia.com. If you're looking for a good broker, mabilis and reliable, check them out. Napakaganda po ng prime platform nila. Um, napakaganda, uh, most especially for casual traders like me, yung laging lumalabas naman sa bahay. Um, the mobile application where you can trade mobile is very useful. So definitely check it out. Right? Um, and yung mga aso ko, nag invade na naman sa bed ko. Kasi chai. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Right, sige, dyan, dyan ka na lang muna. Right. Um, anyways, uh, yun. Um, also, eToro. Check out eToro at eToro.com. Um, please use my link pala. And if you want to use eToro, this is eToro. Right here, this is the platform for eToro. I'm already earning on my current trade. Sa portfolio ko. Right, umaakit na naman si Google. I'm still holding on to Google. Ang kagandahan nito really is for copy people. Ito rito right here. If you want, you can copy my trades. If you want to, pwede ako maging fund manager ninyo. Or any traders out there, you can see their stats. Just click on copy people. Right, hanap kayo ng tao dito which you think has very good returns the past 12 months. Makikita nyo po ang stats nila like this one, this guy right here, Eliyohu. Right, um, you can check out his stats. Negative siya for January but that's just negative 0.12. Malit lang yan. But look at his 2018 stats. All green except for September, October lang. So whatever he earns in the future, you'll be earning too if you copy his trades now. Hindi lang po siya. Napakarami po. So for investors out there, 
you can check out eToro para at least may fund manager kayo. Ang problema kasi sa Pilipinas is hindi tayo lahat pwede mag-trade, di ba? And if we have money, it's really risky to trade. We don't know what we're doing. So I recommend kung wala kayong oras mag-trade, just go to eToro and then maghanap na lang kayo ng um, fund manager dito. Kasi dito sa Pilipinas, ang mahal-mahal maghanap ng fund manager para may mag-manage ng funds mo. Right? So check out eToro at eToro.com. This is offer your opportunity to get a fund manager. Ayan. So now let's go to my slides. Sa topic natin ngayon, basic scalping. Ayan ang pogi ko. Basic scalping. Yeah, the Trading Masterclass with Lloyd Bazaar. So, hindi ito hindi ko ito tinuturo sa seminars ko actually. Kasi yung se- seminars ko, yo, though I teach um uh teach a bit about intraday trading, I yung seminar kasi na Trading Masterclass is really focused on you transitioning from an investor to a trader. And when you transition from that, you have to start with position trading. So, yun po yung tinuturo ko talaga. Position trading. Right? Momentum trading is most pro- most more or less um, same with um, position trading, your day trading. Same with position trading. But, it's just so much faster. The charts shrink down to one minute charts. So, napakabilis. And this is uh, what I'm gonna show you bakit uh, mahi- medyo mahirap ang day trading. At least, meron kayong basics, uh, basic na alam sa scalping. So, this is tra- day trading. Right? Speaking of seminars, if you want to join my seminar, meron pa ako this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Bukas na yon, 9 in the morning. Yan. So, napaka-helpful po ng seminar. Nakikita niyo po yung mga students ko. They're already taking advantage of the bullish market um, since joining the seminar. Right? So, yan. Basic scalping, the trading masterclass with Lloyd Bazaar. So, what is scalping? Unahin natin, what is scalping? Scalping is a trading strategy, uh, trading strategy, spe- uh, trading, st- trading style, specializing in taking profits, on small price changes, small price changes, uh, take note of these words, small price gen- changes generally soon after a trade has been entered and has become profitable, it requires a trader to have a strict st- exit strategy, so lalabas ka again, very short term, because one large loss could eliminate the many small gains that trader has worked to obtain. So, strict exit strategy, bakit kailangan mo mag-exit ka again? Because scalping kasi, it's very short term. Napakaliit lang ng gains na habol mo dito. Siguro 500, 1,000 pesos, pero marami kang gagawin nito within the day. So, sa isang scalping, siguro nag-gain ka ng 500 pesos. Next scalping, 700 pesos. Medyo maliit sila pakinggan. But if ever you try 5 to 10 entries a day, a good trader, ang ratio ng good trader is around 6 out of 10 trades. Uh, 6 out of 10 trades is a win. So, that's the ratio of a good trader. So, with this, sa at least anim ang panalo mo, magigain ka every day. Right? So, this is very fast. Maraming trades every day. So, as much as possible, um, short, uh, very short um, trade. And then, kahit maliit lang ang gain mo. And then, have a strict exit strategy. Kasi kailangan mo lumabas ka agad kasi pag naipit ka, baka ma mawala yung uh, wins mo sa ibang trades mo na ginawa mo within the day for scalping. Right? So, yon. This is um, from Investopedia. That's what scalping is. Basically, uy, nag-momentum itong ano na ito. Uh, for example, kahapon si Ma. Uy, lumilipad si Ma. Nag-5% na. Tingnan ko nga kung okay pa rin. Kung malakas pa rin ang volume niya. Tingnan ko ang chart. Kung andun pa rin. Then, sakyan mo. And then, scalping exit ka agad. Pwede ganyan. Alright. So, that's what scalping is. Sorry. Scalping is based on, sorry. Scalping is based on, let me go to the next slide. Bagal pala, kaya pala hindi lumalabas. Right. Scalping is based on an assumption that most stocks will complete the first stage of a movement. Take note of first stage, right? So, usually kasi sa unang pitik ng uptrend, magigin pa yan. And then, um, after the first uptrend, hindi na tayo sure kung akit pa yan. If it goes up, then good. Pero we bet on that usual move na pag pumitik yan pataas, mag-uptrend yan for a short term. And then we take advantage of that. So scalping it based on the assumption that most stocks will complete the first stage of a movement. Right? Um, but where it goes from there is uncertain. After the initial stage, some stocks will cease to advance and others will continue. So hindi pa rin guarantee yan. But that is um, the purpose of scalping. We bet that the stock will complete the first move. For example, nag-higher high siya, tapos gumawa ng higher low at nag-bounce. 
usually gagawa pa yun isang higher high and then before the reversal within the day. So that's the usual movement of a stock and we bet on that. That's why we scalp that. So huhulihin po natin yung unang akyat niya and then once it retraces that we we enter and then we uh, we usually it will continue another climb and then if it goes up then we win, right? So that's basically the case of scalping. That's why we do scalping, right? You have to have strict exit strategy in scalping once your target profit is hit. Exit right away, regardless of the future of the future movement of a stock, right? You have to take profits right away, right? So taking profits, yeah. Oh, iunahin ko po yung mga dapat inote natin um, on the scalping. Take profits, naman. Target profit natin is risk times one. So if you're risking um negative five percent, so you have to take profits at positive five percent. Pag nagain ka na ng five percent. And then target profit two is pag naka 10% ka na, right? Risk times two. If you're risking 5%, then risk times two at 10%, exit ka na. Uh, but that's hard. Usually, ang risk ko dito on these kinds of places, it's around 3% lang. So, very uh, very sharp, uh, very, uh, what do you call this? Napakalapit ng cut loss ko kasi I don't want to lose big on my uh, on my on my scalping so negative three percent so usually at six percent uh two uh three percent gain or right, four and six percent to eight percent like to take profits na ako nyan. if there's still momentum on the trade then i get out right away wala nang baka alam kung magtutuloy tuloy yan or hindi not unless na may news sa stock na yan so yan uh so those are the take profits of um of scalping right um and stop loss naman usually 3% below the established support. Yun po yung cut loss ko. Right? So that's the stop loss area of uh, of the ano, of uh, scalping. Right? Um, trading strategy, I use 1 to minute 1 minute to 5 minute charts. I'll show you that in a while. I use Bollinger Band strategies and RSI in my scalping. Right? Because those are the technical analysis I'm comfortable with. It usually works on the day trade then especially sa PSE. Uh, marami pa pong ibang um, scalping strategies, mga MA strategies dyan. You can check out um, other videos about scalping, iba-iba. Right? But this is what has been working for me. So this is what I use. So basically, ganito siya. The theory is, um, let me look at, let me get my paint. Right, so, let me paste it in paint. So basically, ang, ang Bollinger Bands na ginagamit ko, this is my lesson in Bollinger Bands, di ba? If naalala nyo. Number one is, um, an engulfing pattern. So we have an engulfing pattern right here. At this lower part, a uh, lower left part of the screen. Di ba? Bollinger Band trigger, that's an engulfing lower Bollinger Band trigger, that's an engulfing pattern and then there's the support stabilization and nakagain ka sa pag na yan. But I don't usually do that, the bottom pick on um, on scalping. I usually wait for the uptrend. Initial signal of an uptrend is, ito yung tinuturo ko sa inyo lagi, whenever there's a Bollinger Band trigger, that usually is a signal of an uptrend. And then what you do is wait for it at around MA20. And then, pag na-hit niya MA20 niya, there's another trigger right here. There's the MA20. And then, there. And then you bet on this. MA20, you enter on the MA20. Cut loss negative 3% below that support. And then, initial naman, initial take profits natin is 3% gain. And then, if umangat pa siya, di ba times 2 ang take profits natin. So, if you're risking 3% so around 6%, pwede ka na mag-take profits. So, that's how it usually... Uh, I usually do it. So let's put a brush. So this is my entry point, MA20. Let me change the color. This is my, sorry. This is my entry point at MA20. Ayaw. Yan. This is where I usually enter at MA20 after this Bollinger Band trigger signals. Ito nag Bollinger Band trigger siya but made a support right here. That's a solid support though. So pwede nyo pasukin yan sa support because that was a support. So napakaganda po ng signal na yan. Pag, pag nagbo Bollinger Band trigger kasi usually it's a signal na pataas na ang isang stock. Right? Um, the momentum is already at the upside of the stock. So there's the Bollinger Band trigger. Napakaswerte nito kasi umang bumaba sa support. Right? That That's the support area kung saan tayo nag-engulfing right there. 
So this is an entry point or uh, right here. There's a Bollinger Band trigger right here. MA20, it's bouncing at MA20. That's another entry point. So our first take profits, number one is the resistance. If this hits already positive three, then you can take profits here. Pwede ka na mag take profits dyan, right? So and then if ever umangyat pa, you sell half at this point on the other half. Kung magkano ang average mo, you exit, mag-break even ka. Right? So if it hits, uh, other half, mag-take profits ka dito on the other half, ma-hit niya itong presyo na ito, you get out already. Dapat, dapat meron kang ano, dapat meron kang, uh, mabilis ka mag-cut loss on your average. Right? So pag average mo dyan, exit na, that will be your stop loss. The volume is looking very well. So this is, this might do a breakout. So at least mag-take profits ka na dito. Your second take profits level will be positive 6%. If you're risking only 3%, negative 3%. But what if negative 4% ang risk mo? So your profits will be 4 and then 8% and then, then you exit right away. Strict cut loss and strict take profits. So that's the theory behind um, that's the theory behind uh, scalping. Ganyan dapat. This is MA20 scalp. I mean, Bollinger Band uh, using the Bollinger Band na strategy na scalping. Let's open a chart on um, yung mas claro, right? Um, this is Ma yesterday. Ma has been the biggest winner yesterday, right? So si Ma, tingnan nyo si Ma. Um, we have a Bollinger Band trigger right here at this area. Let me go full screen para mas claro, right? So let me zoom in. There is a Bollinger Band trigger right here. Usually, ang mas gusto ko, hindi ako nagbo-bottom pick like this one right here. Though it can work, di ba? Isa sa mga strategy ko is RSI. This is already 20 na RSI, so that's a buy signal right there. If you see a, an RSI at 20, uh, that will be a very good avenue already. Um, pumitik na siya at this point right here. Let's say, unahin natin si RSI. Right? I use RSI also. So, nag-support siya dito, right? It did go up that moment and then, nag-open siya dito. As wala, nag-sell off ka agad, but sustain the support, that will be a good entry point. Napakaganda ng RSI. And there it is. Kung pumasok ka dyan sa support niya, you could have gained this. But it's really hard to bottom pick, right? RSI is good. Ang ganda ng bottom pick ng RSI. Um, but what I usually ride is, kasi ang hirap hulihin nito eh, kasi ang daming charts, hindi mo naman alam si Ma ang gagalaw dito ngayon eh, di ba? But that's why why I, I look at the ticker when I am um, when I am trading kasi may pag may sunod-sunod na nag lumabas na ma na green sa chart I mean sa, sa ticker that means na umaangat si ma and then I check out the top gainers then pag, pag nag-gain na si ma this is how much gain in just how many minutes right nag-gain siya bigla ng 4% in just how many minutes one, this is 1 minute chart 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so in 6 minutes nag 4% siya makikita mo yun sa ticker gagalaw yan, mabilis ang galaw. So, tingnan ko na ngayon ang chart ni Ma. So, nag-trigger siya sa upper Bollinger Band. Uy, that's my initial na signal. Right? Signal na yan. Abangan mo na yan. Si Ma, wait for the MA20. Diba, tinuro ko sa inyo, if it triggers an upper Bollinger Band, yes, pwede siya umakyat, pwede yung mag-momentum mag trade, but we're scalping right now. Lowest risk part is the MA20, so near MA20. So this is how much percent uh, near MA20, just negative 1%. And I usually cut loss negative 3. So at this point, um, meron akong 4% risk for, ano, for ma, right? And then, anjan pa yung support. So most probably, gawin ko 5% na risk ko dito. But I should be entering this point already kasi napakarapit na sa MA20. And then my risk is very beautiful, right? I can and layo pa ng main support. So, I'm gonna be risking at around 4% at this area. Pag pumasok ako dyan, at ayan. This is, ito yung sinasabi ko, usually, we're betting on that, uh, the stock to complete its initial move. Pag nag-trigger yan, gagawa na isang trend yan pataas. Right? So, we're, we're risking negative 4%. Our take profits, number one, should be positive 4%. So, when it hit this price right here, mag-take profits na kayo, right? So, nakapag-take profits na ako nyan, and then there it is, MA20, and we will be cutting losses on our average. Pag nag-average ka dito, this is your entry point. So, hindi pa na-hit yung entry point mo, nag-take profits ka na sa, negative, uh, sa positive 5%. So, you still hold on to that, and then, once your price, uh, once your price was hit, you already cut losses. At least other half mo, nag-gain ka ng ganyan. 
So ba- that's basically the rule. At least na, na, na-fulfill niya ang isang galaw niya. So my other 50%, it was hit sa so my break-even point. So I'm gonna be selling that already. I don't care if aakit pa yan or hindi. Kasi at this point, hindi mo alam kung aakit yan or hindi. So na-hit yung uh, cut loss ko. So I'm gonna be cutting losses on my ne- uh, my, my other half at this point. Um, another buy signal here. Here we go. So buy signal here. Actually, meron na naman dito. Um... Bollinger Band is triggered at the bottom part. Ito yung lesson ko sa Bollinger Band. And then that's an engulfing pattern. It closed. Next to that is an engulfing pattern. It closed above the red one. So it's the stabilization point is here. This is a good entry point. Right? If gusto nyo yung conservative approach, this is a good entry point. Support. Support yan. Napakagandang support after an engulfing pattern. So you could have bet on this support. Mas malaki yung mapapanulunan mo pa ganyan. Yun nga lang, I don't like sideways support. Sideways kasi yung support na yun eh, kasi eh, baka ilang minuto matulog. What I really love is when it triggers the upper Bollinger Bands. Here is the upper Bollinger Band trigger again. So, aabangan ko na yan ulit. It made a support right here. So, this would have been a good entry point. Right? Bollinger Band trigger and made a support. This is a trigger na tumataas na sentiments ng mga tao. So, atin natin, no, pumunta sa 1.96, I'll be entering that stock already at 1.96 after the Bollinger Band trigger. It's either there or there's another Bollinger Band trigger right here. It's either the support or the MA20. And this time, it's it's solidifying at the MA20. So, I will be entering this MA20 right here. Alright, so at this point, dalawang entry points ko, either this one, either this one. Kung pumasok ako dito, if aakyat ang stock, I'm gonna be risking negative 3% from this point. So, if aakyat ang stock ng neg- positive 3, this one, in this case, umabot ng positive 4, nag-take profits na ako sa kalahati niyan. Instant pera. ba? But, this, if hindi ka nakapasok dito, there's another Bollinger Band trigger, abangan mo ulit yung pullback niya, and then there it is, nagbabounce MA20 for 3 minutes, you will be entering here. Because we bet that after this move, it will complete a one uh, one trend. Isang swing, i-complete niya. And there it is. Umabot siya ng ganyan. So, at this point, if pumasok ka at this point, I'll be selling, I'm gonna be risking around negative 3 to negative 4%. Medyo malayo-layo pa. So, uh, if my risk is negative 4, my take profits is positive 4. And in this case, positive 4 could have take, taken profits already there when this resistance has showed. Right? Naggumawa siya ng resistance at 2.1. I will sell half already. In this case ngayon, hindi natin alam saan papunta yan. Baka bumaba at gumawa ng support ulit or um or it's gonna uh, uh or it's gonna go up further up this case bumaba siya dito ng 2.0 actually dito 2.0 eh ba so i'm risking negative 4 negative 3 to negative 4 bumaba ang presyo to this level hindi naman hit yung cut loss ko so i don't want to cut loss very near so hindi pa na hit ang cut loss ko so hindi ako magka cut loss niyan and then Umangat siya ulit, which is suerte, and then there it is. It made the resistance at that point, right there. At that point, positive 4 na ako, so I'm gonna be taking half already. So, I'll sell half, and then if it reaches positive 8%, which is right here, umabot na siya ng 8%, magta-take profits na ako lahat. So, that's instant 8% on one trade. There's another buy signal here. If hindi kayo nakapasok, just go to MA20 if you want to, and then there it is again. Hindi kayo nakapasok dito, same lesson. MA20, there it is. I mean, Bollinger Band trigger, MA20 bounce, and then there it is. So, kung hindi kayo nakapasok dito, there's another entry point. This is a trigger, upper Bollinger Band. Saan nyo ahanapin? Saan nyo sasakyan? Sa MA20, there it is. Napakalapit na MA20. Even, even dito, dito, or dito. Then there it is. Another win at that point. So, if you enter here, and then you risk around 3%, mag-take profits kayo at around 3% na gain, and then there it is. Putuloy-tuloy pa siya hanggang 11%. Right? So that was a very big win on this scalping method alone. In this stock alone, kay Malang, ang dami nating entry points using Bollinger Bands and RSI dito sa baba. So Bollinger Bands is very useful for me. Right? So 1 is to 2 lang. Uh, I mean, 1 is to 2, 1 or 2, what you call this, 1 or 2 sell by signals lang kasi pangatlong wave, usually hindi na magtutuloy-tuloy yan. And here, there it is. Right? Swerte natin na nagtuloy pa siya. First signal natin was here. And then, yung lesson natin kanina, it's gonna complete one more cycle of swing. And then, there it is. Gumawa siya ng isang swing. And then, there it is. Swerte natin, gumawa pa siya ng isang swing pa, pataas. Right? 
So you could we could have entered at this point right here. Then there it is. Ang ganda ng bounce niya, right? So that's scalping. Um, I'm gonna go to your comments if you have any questions sa scalping na tinuro ko sa inyo. It's just this is easy. It looks easy, but this is the same lesson sa position trades ko, eh, ba? Bollinger bands using position trade. Bakit hindi pa tayo nananalo sa position trade natin if we're if you're we're following this? You have to master this strategy on your position trades first before po kayo mag-try ng scalping. Yes, malaki po ang pera sa scalping, especially if malaking pera ang linalagay niyo, siguro mga 50,000 pesos ang laki na ng pera niyo niyan sa scalping na yan, right? Instant 4% sa sa 50,000 pesos is a lot, right? Um instant na 8% to 10% in how many minutes sa isang uh, sa isang stock is a lot, right? So this is this is basically how it looks like on scalping if you're scalping live. Mahirap po ito. It looks easy, but hindi po madali. Kasi, kasi, napakabilis po. In one minute, you know how to sell, you know how to how to get in. Minsan pa nga, hindi tayo nakakapasok, hindi tayo nakakabenta kaagad. Ano pa kaya yung one minute na mabilisan? You know, you have to know how to buy fast, you have to know how to sell fast, you have to have mastered your emotions already, yung greed, yung takot, lahat niyan na master niyan dapat how to handle these emotions before you wanna do this. Kasi, napaka-stressful po nito if hindi, hindi, pa, hindi, hindi nyo pa hold ang emotions ninyo. Right? So, that's scalping. Um, let me see. Uh, happy birthday from Ellie Caballero. Thank you so much. Sir, yung 3% gain ba is based on port or based on the change of the stock from the entry? Kasi based on port, there is charges. Usually, based on port ang tinitingnan ko pag nag na ako ng positive 3. Kasi may charges pa so if if I gain positive three already on my port, that's when I get out, right? Very good question, my tube. Lawrence Legad, happy birthday, coach. Now po, All right? Um, Vince, happy happy birthday. Maraming salamat po sa inyo sa daily grind. You're welcome, coach. For position, test buy is usually thirty k. How much should it be for scalping? Depende, depende sa amount na comfortable kayo, right? If depende sa amount na you're willing to lose, right? If you're willing to lose fifty k. Uh, it I mean not willing to lose. If it's okay to you for you to lose the 50k, because this is very risky, that's okay. Iba iba kasi tayong risk tolerance, especially sa amount, eh, de ba? For me, for example, ako um, sa 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 US na stocks, I'm comfortable with 50,000 for scalping, so that's okay with me. Ang problema, we don't have the same tolerance. What if 50k is all in sa iba? So I can't really say 50k is good for scalping pa para magsimula kayo. Try to scalp with small amounts first. Right? Mga 20,000, if you're doing better, try add 10,000. So pwede nyo mag 30,000. The key here is not to hindi magmadali. Especially nakakanood nyo lang ng video na ito. Right? Wag po kayo magmadali sa gains. Master the strategy first. How do you master it? Small amounts lang. Siguro mga 15,000, start yun ng 15,000, uy, nakukuha ko na. Subukan ko kaya kung kaya kong bumili at pumasok sa 20,000. Uy, kaya kong 20,000 for how many weeks? Magaling na ako sa 20,000, then you add more next week sa 30,000 hanggang sa umabot kayo sa sweet spot na amount niyo how much you will be using for scalping. Right? So, it really depends on you. Alright? Sir, kung TP, paano po mag tax fees? Experience ko kasi tumaas ng 3%. Yan. Um, include the tax fees. Dapat makikita nyo po, support niyo is 3% na po ang gains ninyo. And then that's when you get out. Right. Sir Lloyd, question kita. Um, kita ko tumaas yung volume sa example mo. Can we hold that position except uh, expect the price to go higher? Very good question, question, Christopher. Yes, you can do that. You can do that. At, for example, this position right here, tumataas naman ang volume. You can bet on that, um, pero mag-trailing stop loss na kayo. Sa tuktok, if ever you see a weakness like this one already, then get out already, right? It's okay not to sell right away, especially if kaka-practice nyo pa lang. But if magaling na kayo, marunong naman kayo magbuhos, right? So you can do that, right? Very good question, Christoph. Maligayang kaarawan from Danilo. Thank you so much. Maying buntag. Ayan. So any questions about scalping? Ay, sorry. <laughs> any scalping... Any question about scalping? Uh, may question kasi ganina, pag ganito, pag tumaas ang volume, uh, baka pwede pa natin i-hold Sir Lloyd. For example, dito, um, pumasok ka at this point right here, nananalo ka na dito, nananalo ka na dito, eh may volume pa naman Sir Lloyd. Okay lang ba hindi ko i lahat kasi may, uh, may volume naman. Says, yes, you can do that. right? 
especially if you're already doing well and marunong kayo magbuhos, right? You can do that. Um, Ariel, very interesting topic in your special day. Thanks again, Coach. You're welcome. Um, guys, again, this is very hard. Heads up ko lang po sa inyo. It looks easy when I explain it, but I tell you, when you're doing it, it's not easy. Right? Try nyo po sa virtual trading na lang muna. And then once you have that confidence already on your virtual trade, uy, parang natututunan ko na. Right? You, then you try with 10 to 15,000. You will see the problem at that point. Sorry about that, burn store. It's okay already. Um, uh, At that point, um, ang problema nyo dyan is yung bid and ask na. So that will be your next struggle, yung bid and ask. Paano makapasok, paano makalabas. Right? So, yun. Um, Sorry about the video kanina. One minute, buba ang time frame or pwede din five minutes. Pwede naman five minutes, Alvin, De La Cruz. Um, sorry about that kanina. Uh, pwede naman five minutes. One minute to five minutes, pwede naman. I use the one minute to five minute charts if I want to. right? But usually, one minute na lang ang ginagamit ko. Um, especially sa PSE. Pag bullish ang market, especially pag bullish ang market, kakasimula ng bullish market, it's okay to be aggressive kaya nagwa one minute chart lang ako. Pag, pag, ano, pag, pag bullish yung market. Um, Sir Lloyd, pwede ba kitang maging fund manager right now? I'm OFW. I don't know how to start yet. Chris Pernia, um, yes, I can be. You can use eToro that way, right? Um, mas maganda po mag fund manage sa eToro. I've been, uh, it's, if it's okay, uh, papakita ko po. Um, right, for me, ako naman, sa dashboard ko, I'm already handling around 8,000 worth of funds, right? 8.74 thousand dollars worth of funds. Uh, I have 21 copiers. Um, umaakit na yung iba. Yung iba, yung mga kakapasok lang, most probably hindi pa nagpa-positive. But others are already positive. Um, F Freedom 101, yung main account ko, noon ko pa pinakopya yan. So, she's gaining already 6%. Others are gaining, gaining already here. O yung iba, bumabawi pa lang kasi nag-bearish yung market sa US. Eh. So, kakasimula pa lang ng iba. So, makikita nyo naman dito. So, if you, wanna, if you want me to be your fund manager, pwede dito sa eToro. Right? Just copy my trades. That will be a faster way to be your fund manager. Any insights po kay FDC, CHP, sir? Mali pa yung adlaw na tawan. Di ko masilip how to handle emotion on that as newbie, sir. Ang bilis. O nga eh. This, this, is, my, uh, this is one of... Um, yung tinuturo ko talaga this is gonna be very fast this is gonna play with your emotion yung yung scalping so I don't really wanna recommend it if you're a newbie yet just in case you want to you can always go back to this video and then practice nyo po right yan so sir paano mo malalaman kung may weakness na pag may nakikita kang pullback or if it closes inside the Bollinger Band that's usually a weakness pag may nakikita kang pulla na dyan pag pumupula na yan then that means that there's weakness already um, good happy birthday sir Lloyd bababa po ba yung PSEI today I think it will I think it will because dalawang araw na tayong magandang galaw ng market so, yan. ano po indicator coach in scalping I use Bollinger Bands and MA20 on my scalping pwede po kayong gumawit ng mga MAs, right? Pinakamaganda na mga, ano, is moving averages and Bollinger Bands ang pinakamaganda sa scalping, right? So, there's a strategy called BBMA. This is, um, this is developed by a Malaysian. Uh, siguro i-share ko po ito sa, uh, sa, uh, what you call this, uh, Billionaire's Club one of these days. Hindi ko po basta-basta ito sinishare kasi nagpapabayad yung may-ari ng strategy. Siya po yung gumawa ng strategy. Um, baka pagalitan ako pag binigay ko sa lahat. <laughs> so, mga students ko have access to this already. And, kasi, um, sabi ko sa kanya, if may students ako, pwede ko ba ito ituro? Sabi niya, okay. So, I gave it, uh, I gave it the students. But anyways, yon um, hindi ko, hindi ko alam kung pwede ko ibigay sa public. Eh. Magpaalam mo na ako. There's a BBMA strategy which they use in Forex, in scalping, right? Napakaganda po ng strategy din. Those are the most effective uh, uh, strategies for me. Ginamit namin sa Forex and it's working. Right. Um, yun. So, let's go back to our, let's go to um, our topic. There's a question here. Magkano po opening dapat sa eToro? If you want to open copy trading, libre lang po mag-open ng account. Use, uh, use the link on the video description. Libre po mag-open ng account. If you want to copy trade, 200 USD po yung in, um, minimum ng copy trading. 
right? Um, best indicators para sa position trading, what I use is uh, Bollinger Bands, RSI, support resistance, and trend lines, and breakouts. So, yun po yung mga ginagamit ko, and patterns, most especially for position trading. Um, so, yun. Uh, we'll go to our, my recommendations for today. At po ulit ang mga recommendations ko for today. Let me put it on the uh, um, comments. Yan. So, number one is Holcim, HLCM. HLCM, I'm recommending HLCM for today. Let's go to the one-day chart. And si Holcim, and at the opening of the market today, may nag kahapon, may nag-asa akin, Sir Lloyd, okay ba si Holcim at this position? I missed this, right? Ang ganda ng, uh, what you call this, meron tayong divergence. Let me go full screen. Right, so, we have a Sir Lloyd, saan yung virtual trading? You can use investorgrams for virtual trading. So, pababa ang presyo at this point. Pero RSI is already going up. So, this is a divergence already for Holcim. So, before the market opened, uh, may nagtanong sa akin, Sir Lloyd, maganda ba si Holcim pasukin? Napakaganda ng volume. Hindi supports and there it is. Nag-green na si Holcim kahapon. The good thing is, still tolerable yung um, position niya. Uh, still, just negative 2% away from support. So, pwede niyo po po habulin yan si Holcim. Napakaganda na ng volume. Magsisimula pa lang ng trend yan. I recommend Holcim for today. Right? Holcim, ang ganda ng technical analysis niya. You can check it out. Pangit yung negative uh, um, third quarter and second quarter earnings niya, but technical analysis is showing us na it's giving us momentum so pwede natin pasukin yan pwede natin paglaruin yan paglaruan next is Picor Picor has confirmed that support and very good volume yesterday so Picor guys it's still accumulating pasok na po kayo habang hindi pa lumilipad yan wag po kayo baka magsisi naman kayo na hindi kayo makapasok at sabihin nyo na Sir Lloyd pwede pa bang humabol kay Picor guys this is the buy uh, opportunity Picor is showing us get in on the buy opportunities. Tulad ni MPI, ilang araw ko po nire-recommend yan dito. May mga tao gustong pumasok kung lumilipad na ang stock. Right? Yan, lumilipad na si MPI. nag in Japan trigger na. So, this is most probably gonna go up in the future. Ang hirap na pasukin because we're at resistance levels already. ba? So, ang hirap na habulin yan. Maybe you can do a breakout strategy. But sayang, if the opportunity is there, dapat doon kayo pumapasok, hindi yung kung umaakit na. Right? Coach, top 3 picks for, for today. I'd say PCOR, uh, M-Wide, AEI. Right? I'll explain to you in a while. Uh, next is SMC. So, mga recommendations ko. SMC, sustaining the support already. Ang ganda na ng support ni SMC. Right? So, um, Bollinger Band is constricting already so that means the price is already stable once there's stability I usually get in that support so nagsusustain yung support niya I will get in that support already um, umaakit na yung volume niya so get in while there's still chance next is M-Wide yan si M-Wide naman yun si M-Wide Um, I'm recommending M-Wide, good volume yesterday, confirming that support right there. So, uh, volume-wise, that's good. People are accumulating already for M-Wide. We have a good support right here. Test out that support already for M-Wide. That's a very good movement right there. We have good confirmation backed up by volume. EEI, kahit pula yan yesterday, um, that's the pullback to MA20. So, those are higher highs already. So, I'd say... Pwede nyo po pasukin sa EEI, use ME20 as your support. EEI has been showing us good numbers already. 132% for uh, this third quarter, plus 52% sa first quarter, uh, negative two per second quarter, negative 2% sa first quarter. Annual earnings, positive 198. So, ang ganda po ng numbers na pinapakita ni EEI. This should be a good bottom for EEI already. Habang mura pa po, posisyonan nyo na po yan. Um, ATN. Uh, SMC, we talked about SMC. Pwede nang bilhin si SMC. Uh, ATN, pull back to MA20 and it has good price action already. Use MA20 as your support for your entry on ATN. Um, Vita naman, on breakout. Antayin niyo po yung breakout ni Vita. I think it's gonna do a breakout because napakalaka ng volume yesterday. Good volume. 
for Vita yesterday and it's sitting near that resistance already. So I think it's gonna do a uh, breakout today. But antay niyo po yung breakout bago kayo pumasok. Alright, naka-open ako ng eToro account using your account. Nag-try using virtual. Taas ng gain ko. Sayang, baka real money maging negative. Nasa 38k and gain ko in 33 days. Gold, yan. Um, I did uh, I did enter in gold. Ang problema ko kay eToro is hindi pwede mag-sell half. So, nabenta ko lahat kay gold. So, kasi na-hit na yung target profit ko eh. So, sayang, nag-gain pa sana. Alright, kung hindi ko binenta. But I had to take profits. Ang hirap eh. Walang sell half sa itoro eh. So, still, gain is gain. Uh, Romel, SPCIMI, let's check that out. Um, Gerald, uh, Kate, bago lang ako sa call, nakabili ako ng OPMB at FEN, pero di ko gumagalaw, benta ko na po ba. Um, OPMB, wag mo pong pasukin yan, mahirap yan, mahirap gumalaw yung stock na yan. Si FEN naman, umakit na si FEN eh, di ba? Alright, so si FEN, umakit na si FEN, mataas na yun masyado, Alright, if ever nag-gain ka na that this are take profits take profit area already, it's starting to form a support so it's really hard to say if if dapat ibenta. DNDS if if at scalping 3% is average risk, how about position trading? What is the average risk to take profits? Um ang risk ko when I'm position trading is around negative 5%, right? Negative 4 to negative 5% ang risk ko. So I usually um take profits at 1 is to 2 reward risk to reward ratio. So pag nag 10% I consider to, I already start to consider taking profits, right? 9 to 10 percent, nagte take profits na ako niyan. I already sell half if I see a weakness, right? Um, yun. Um, so those are my picks for today. Again, Halsim, Picor, SMC, MY, EEI, ATN, and Vita. If you're asking me, ano pinaka maganda gusto ko sa dito? Number one, na gusto ko si EEI. Why? Si EEI, very low risk position, right? Napakaganda ng bottom ni EEI. Number one pick ko yan. Next is Holsim. Um, no, no, not Holsim kasi yung negative na numbers eh. Si Picor din, negative ang numbers eh. But yeah, um, it's showing us good bottom already. Nag-double bottom na si Picor. So number two, si Picor for me. Right? So Holsim and Picor kasi this is backed up by good volume. Not Holsim, Picor. EEI and Picor. Yan po yung dalawa na gusto ko. Um, lastly, top three ko si M-Wide. M-Wide is backed up by good volume and then there's good support overall napakamura pa ni MWide ang ganda ng mga projects ni MWide and the build 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 program isa si MWide sa makikinabang yan so I'm recommending MWide too habang overall mura pa siya so those are my top 3 picks um, Picor uh, MWide and EEI right Picor MWide and EEI so those are my top 3 picks so my questions kanina about unahin natin yung question about Tugo Sir Lloyd pwede pa bang pasukin si Tugo um, it's okay for me pero get in near MA20 as much as you can for Tugo may hila ni CLC yan napakaganda ng um, ng projects ngayon ni uh, ng ginagawa ngayon ni CLC kay Tugo right so that will be very beneficial for Tugo once um CLC will be handling it so i'm recommending Tugo ISM kasi bakit si Tugo napakamura po ni Tugo overall tingnan niyo po yung chart ni Tugo ang layo pa nang pwede niya iakyat yan so si Tugo now it's under CLC it's going to be very beneficial for them so Tugo is yes just get in your MA20 as much as you can my question about ISM Antayin nyo lang po yung bounce ni ISM before you wanna get in. Starting to form a support. Get in your MA20 as much as you can. There's a small, there's a, there's a short, I mean, not a very steep uptrend line. Right? So, as much as possible, yung uptrend line niya po, yung pasukin ninyo. Nag, uh, Nag-aabang lang yung mga tao sa January 30, 31. So, most probably, pag natuloy na yung Udena backdoor, most probably, aakit na yan. So, while mura pa, you can test out that. Ganito guys, I wanna teach you something. May nagsasabi kasi na baka lumipad and baka bumagsak daw sa 3 pesos or 5 pesos, sabi nila, di ba? So, there are two what-ifs. My trading strategy is position myself on those what-ifs, right? I have to position myself na kung either ang mangyari, nasa magandang position ako, right? Let me go full screen first because this is important. This is one of my lessons in, in trading talaga. There are what-ifs. You have to be in a position where Whichever what ifs happen, you're in a good position, diba? So, what if, sa ISM, what if umakyat on January 31? What if bumaba daw, diba? So, there are two what ifs. Um, 
first example is yung mga tao na takot at ayaw pumasok at ayaw mag-test by kay ISM. Right? This is their position. What if, yan, di sila papasok. Right? Di sila papasok kasi naabangan nila na bumaba. The thing is, no one can predict the market. Yes, pwede bumaba yan, pero pwedeng umakyat. What if bumaba, then that's good. Makakapasok sila mas pura na presyo. What if umakyat at umakyat ng umakyat kasi ang ganda ng news. Ang problema doon sa ginawa nila is what if umakyat they're at a bad position kasi they're not in the trade. And ang hirap ng humabol niyan, yung mga hindi maalam yung ginagawa nila. Once ISM goes up, at manghihinayang yan sila, bakit hindi ako pamasok, yet, at umaakyat na, ang mangyayari dyan is, you're gonna be getting, uh, you're gonna be frustrated, ang ending, mafufomo ka, at dun ka na papasok sa mataas kung kailan umakyat na si ISM. Tulad na nangyari noon, dito kay ISM, Daming na FOMO. Bakit? Sabi daw nila, magtitress daw si ISM. Hindi daw yan, bla bla bla. Ang daming problema. Okay, may problema kasi third telco. Ang daming issue. Ayan lang pumasok. Diba dito, noon? Ayan lang pumasok kay ISM. Kasi daw, ang daming issue and everything sa, sa Supreme Court and everything. Yes, let's take that into consideration. What if, mangyari, masama, babagsak. Diba? But what if, wala namang masama mangyari at umakyat. So, ang mga hindi pumasok kasi natakot, hindi nag-test buy, nung umaakit na, na FOMO na, dito na pumasok sa taas. Diba? So, ganun na nangyayari. So, ang gusto kong gawin ninyo, what I usually do is, if I see an opportunity, I always test buy. Magte-test buy ako. For example, may budget ko for this stock is, at this position is 100,000. Gusto ko pumasok kay ISM 100,000 kung bumaba man siya or market man siya. But basically, you want to enter ISM because of the future of Udena, right? What I usually do is I divide that 100k to 3. So 30,000 ilalagay ko diyan. It's 9, 25 so tapusin ko lang ito. So what I usually do is I divide it into 3, right? When I divide it into 3, unahin ko 30,000, I will test buy. Now, if naka-test buy na ako sa position na ni ISM dito, now let's consider the what ifs. Pumasok ako, may uh, 30,000. What if bumaba sa 5 pesos and doon gumawa ng support? I still have money to average down. Right? I still have majority of my money to average down. So, I'm in a good position kasi may nakakagalaw ako. What if lumipad? Okay ran pa rin. Kasi na, I'm in already inside the trading, right? I already have 30k in it. Pag lumaki yan, then I am all, I'm already gaining. So I position myself well on the what ifs. Huwag po kayong mag-all in, right? Don't go all in here kasi pag bumaba yan, wala kayong magagawa. Pag umakyat yan, yes, panalo ka. But what if bumaba, talo ka, right? So that's why I don't go all in. I only do test buys. So what if hap whatever happens to the stock, I'm in a good position. That is how I trade. And so... Um, that's it for today siguro, <laughs> 9.26 na. I'll see you again next week, guys, right? Um, ingat sa market today. It's been solid for past few days. Birthday ko ngayon, but sadly, it's a Friday, so baka mag-take profit sa mga tao. But then again, as always, let's get rich together. I'll see you on Monday. Bye, guys.